water-intensive industries face the challenge of treating their variable and complex waters in a way that subsequent reuse is feasible, reducing their dependence on freshwater resources. Among the different industrial sectors with this problematic, the oil and gas sector has been selected to demonstrate the integral technology due to the high variability of their waters. Integral technology is a plug-and-play integrated solution that comprises five different individual technologies operated in a smart way thanks to a decision support system based on machine learning algorithms. This tool is able to operate and activate the different processes depending on the water to be treated, the desired quality of water for a particular reuse application and process efficiency criteria. Suspended matter present in the water is removed using a dissolved air flotation module. The removal is achieved by dissolving pressured air in the water in a flotation tank basin. The released air forms tiny bubbles which adhere to the suspended matter, causing the suspended matter to float to the surface of the water where it is removed by a skimmer. Suspended and colloidal matter present in the water are removed by means of ceramic membranes. In the case of refinery wastewater, ceramic membranes are used as part of a membrane bioreactor, the so-called ceramic MBR. In this case, water is firstly introduced in the biological basin, where different anoxic and aerobic conditions are maintained. This enables the existence of different microorganisms, which degrade the organic matter. Subsequently, water is fed to the ultrafiltration membrane. In this step, water and those compounds similar than a certain size pass through the pores of the ceramic membranes, whereas larger particles do not, thus creating a high-quality treated water free of suspended and colloidal material in a consistent way. There is a recirculation along the membrane in order to diminish membrane fouling and also to the biological basin in order to maintain its biomass concentration. Catalytic wet air oxidation is a continuous process that transforms the residual organic compounds into carbon dioxide and water without the generation of byproducts. The water to be treated is introduced in a continuous form into a reactor that contains a special absorbent that also acts as a catalyst. Once the absorbent is saturated, regeneration takes place where the absorbed organic compounds are oxidized into carbon dioxide avoiding the generation of byproducts. Ozone generated from air is blended with hydrogen peroxide. They are capable of producing hydroxyl radicals, strong oxidants that can degrade the recalcitrant compounds still present in water. 
As a final polishing step, with the aim of removing the salinity, a reverse osmosis process is implemented to prevent the accumulation of biofilm growth on the membranes, as well as to clean them more efficiently. Environmentally friendly additives and formulations have been developed. Reverse osmosis uses a semi-permeable, thin membrane with pores small enough that make it possible for water to diffuse through while rejecting ions. The result is highly purified water able to be used for different purposes. Integroil solution is able to produce fit per purpose water for reuse in different applications irrigation, re injection, boiler water, cooling water, according to specific on time requirements. This is possible thanks to the decision support system that, with minimum water knowledge, implements and operates the most appropriate configuration of individual technologies depending on 1. The quality of the input water 2. The quality of the output water needed for a particular reuse application 3. Energy consumption and use of additives and formulations Integroil solution has been validated in upstream and downstream scenarios, treating real water for more than 12 months, demonstrating that it is able to produce water for reuse besides reducing the environmental impact in terms of greenhouse emissions. Integroil, with the support of the H2020 programme for research, development and innovation of the European Commission.